Hi there, this is James with Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Today we're going to talk about the Solar inverter. This is the SA12K hybrid inverter from Solar. Uh, it is effectively a battery based grid tied solar inverter all in one. It's, it's a hybrid solution. It allows you to connect to the grid and sell back to the grid, but it also works as an off grid inverter. It has the capabilities of connecting to a battery bank, uh, powering an essential loads panel, um, and also it allows uh, a generator to be connected into it. So one can use the generator as a backup for either the grid or for an off-grid system. So in here's the load center for the inverter. Basically up here is the inverter section, and down here is where you connect everything. Um, starting from the left, we have our battery connections over here. Um, this is a 250 amp breaker, serves as overcurrent protection for the inverter and a disconnect for the battery bank. Um, right here is where you can tie in your solar. So currently we only have one small array connected to this, but it has two trackers. Each of the trackers for this inverter can handle up to 6,500 watts of solar. It's a 500 volt inverter, so it typically means that you can connect something like nine or 10 60 cells in, in series. Um, and you can tie up to two strings per MPPT. So this essentially disconnects both trackers here. So and it has a lockout, so you can lock it out and not turn it back on essentially. So that's a pretty cool feature of the Solar as its own disconnect. So you can connect the Wi-Fi dongle to the outside of the Solar. It's included with the SA12K inverters and that allows you to do uh, cloud-based monitoring through the power view. These are outdoor rated inverters. So they're NEMA 3R rated. You can mount them outside. Um, highly recommend putting them on the north side of a building or something so that you don't have the sun beating down on them. But they're outdoor rated, you can be out in the weather, um, which makes them very versatile as far as connecting them up and integrating them into a system, especially for a grid interactive system. So this is a very capable inverter. They call it a 12K. So the 12K essentially means that it can handle up to 12 kilowatts of solar and deliver that power effectively. Now we'll go into greater detail here in a minute as to what that means. Over here is where you have your grid connection. Um, that can also be used as a generator connection for off-grid applications. This is the gen input breaker. Um, this, the grid is a 63 amp breaker the gen is a 50 amp breaker, and then the load output over here um, is another 50 amp breaker. This is a 240 volt single phase inverter uh, with a neutral, so it does 120 volts between line and neutral, and between line and line, 240 volts. Currently, we have the ground and the neutral jump together as our neutral to ground bond. This is just for testing, but your neutral bus bar is here, and then your ground bus bar is over here. In a grid down situation, the solar converter is an 8,000 watt inverter. It can feed essentially 8,000 watts to the loads. It can handle up to 16 or 20 kVA surges, uh, 16 kVA for about 10 seconds and 20 kVA for very intermittent surges. One of the really cool features of the, this particular inverter, if you were to use this in an off-grid application, is you can tell the grid input breaker that it's essentially the generator and then you can program the gen output breaker as a dump load circuit so if the batteries get full and you still have an abundance of solar it can turn that breaker on well the the power to that breaker on essentially and feed a dump load for example like a uh, a hot water heater or an air conditioner something like that um, so this particular inverter, while it's only capable of doing 8,000 watts to the loads, it can also sell power back to the grid at up to 9,000 watts. And total, it can handle 12 kVA. So the inverter, while it can have up to 12,000 watts of solar coming in, it can't necessarily, like most inverters can't necessarily use all that power if it was only rated at 8,000. This particular inverter can send on the AC side eight or 9,000 watts and then use the remaining power from the solar array at the limit of 12 kVA to essentially feed the batteries 
So it can charge the batteries, for example, with 3000 watts and deliver 9000 watts to the grid continuously. So that's a very unique feature that the Solark has. That is why it's called the 12K. The uh, Solark has quite a lot of compatibility with the number of batteries on the market um, as far as closed loop communications is concerned. So these network cables here, effectively, you can parallel multiple of the Solarks together, but um, you, know, you can also connect the batteries in to the networking of the inverter and the batteries themselves will be able to communicate to the inverter and tell the inverter when they're, when they're willing to accept charge and their state of charge and various other um, attributes of the, of the current state of the battery. So you can put up to eight of these together in a split phase configuration. Um, that effectively gives you 96 kilowatts of power. You can also configure these in three phase orientations as well, and you can put up to nine inverters in a stack. In a three phase configuration, in order to do a true three phase, you need at least three inverters, and each inverter is essentially feeding two phases. So um, you effectively define the phase angle at um, 120 degrees instead of a standard split phase 180, but three inverters essentially gives you full power on all three phases, and you can do up to three stacks of inverters on a three phase configuration. So the Solar converter is probably the most versatile inverter that we offer currently. You can do split phase, three phase, you can connect generator to it, the grid to it, you can sell back to the grid, um, you can put up to 13 kilowatts of solar into them, and an unlimited size battery bank is an extremely versatile solution. If you're interested in a solar converter, you have any questions about it, our team would be happy to help you put a system together for you. Uh, just give us a call and we'll see what we can do for you. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment.